What's up, everybody? This is El Diablo Mexicano. Uh, today, I want to take a little break from my normal guides and talk about some news that Tripwire just announced for their game, Killing Floor 2. In case you've not been paying attention to Tripwire's forums or even the Steam community, the Tripwire put up a poll not too long ago, like right before the beta came out for Krampus Christmas, and they were talking to people and saying, hey, what new weapon would you guys like to come out? So the very first thing that we're going to be talking about is this upcoming gun that Tripwire is going to be putting in their next update in 2018. I believe it's going to be the very first one, but it's going to be the MAC-10 SMG. For those who are not familiar, the MAC-10 actually began in the very first Killing Floor game. It was a SMG little machine pistol that could switch between both semi-automatic and fully automatic firing modes. At level 0 firebug, you could hold a total of 30, 300 rounds, and if you got to the max level of 6, it could hold about 517 rounds. Now again, this is only for the firebug, and it was a nice little gun because it actually helped light torch Zaz on fire, as you'll see in just a second. A lot of people enjoy this gun, as it was a lighter gun allowed you to run faster than the bulky flamethrower. Other things that have made it a great gun for kiting, because you can quickly run and spray and pray as you're running around the map. However, in case you can see it, one of the major drawbacks to the gun was its iron sights. While aiming down the sights, the view was very obstructive, you couldn't really see where you're aiming. But other than that, it was an amazing gun. I liked it a lot personally. It was actually my vote for when I voted for which gun I wanted to see next year. And so I'm hoping that in Killing Flow 2, it's just as kick ass as it was back then. Before I get into the last big announcement that Tripwire had, I want to take a quick moment to show you guys that the reason why I love Tripwire as a company is because they offer these little surveys for the community to kind of give feedback on what they like. And so, ignoring the next guns, but here they talk about what type of maps you prefer. For me personally, I liked the both standard, and I also like the progression. I'm like 95% positive that that's what the Krampus one was. But I enjoy those kind of maps. I like the standard maps. The holdout, kind of like descents, they're just okay in my opinion. But then, like, you're also going off onto. Um, like how we like stand your ground. Personally, I think stand your ground should only be in like a couple maps. I actually think it's kind of broken as it is. I think it's way too much money, way too quickly. Um, they talk about like if you even like or even participate in the stand your ground objectives, or then like how people like the uh, like Krampus, and then last but not least, what platform they play on. And so uh, this is a great way to give feedback to this great company. And now going on to the very top, so this is like the most important thing is as a as uh, the community of Killing Floor 2, it, it is, I wouldn't say it's our responsibility, but I think it's an awesome way to kind of give a voice and opinion to what we want in this game. Because this Triple R is making this game for its audience. So what better way to get people's opinions and have them take polls. And so we'll include a link to this at the very bottom of the video. But for here, we have three big weapons. First up, we have the Fire Axe. This is a Berserker weapon, and I'm assuming it's going to be only for Berserker, as it's a melee weapon. Second gun is the M32 grenade launcher, which is a demolition weapon. It's a cylinder six shot uh, grenade launcher. And the last gun is the M99 anti material rifle, which will be for a sharpshooter, and it's basically going to be like a second um, rail gun. Now that we're done with the guns that Tripwire has put polls up for, the last thing to go over is this little tease that Tripwire has included at the very end of their What We Are Up To post. It says, And the last gift of Krampus Christmas is a message from the past. You, the community, said you wanted endless mode. See you in 2018. Now, this is like huge news. This has been something the community has been asking for since, oh my god, since the dawn of time. And now, this comes like begs the question of what is this endless mode going to be like? I do not know what you guys are thinking. I'm, I'm curious. I don't know if it's going to be just pick a map and they're just going to be in the endless mode and the waves don't stop coming. I don't know if it's going to be something kind of like the famous Call of Duty zombies where you have it stuck on a map and it just comes in waves like that way. I have no idea how this is going to be. All I can say is I'm super excited for this. And because I'm an achievement whore, I hope that it gives some more achievements to go along with this. And I personally hope they have a new map for this. It's kind of like the thing I'm hoping for the most. I don't want them to have like Biotics Lab Endless, Outpost Endless. No, I want like custom maps that are supposed to like bring out this entire idea of an endless horde mode. And I think that'd be amazing and kick ass. And well guys, there you have it. I hope this what brought some good news to a lot of you guys. I don't know how many guys were looking forward to endless mode. Hope you guys like learned something about the survey, because I did not know about this until like 
like almost it was like the day before the first one was supposed to end. Because like I said, this is probably the best way to get involved in the Killing Floor Two community is to vote and say like this is what you want to see because this is your game. This is the game that you bought money for. This is the game that like you want to enjoy it. So again, I'll be providing the link for the survey at the bottom of the video. And like I said, um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I have tons of other videos. I have guides for Assassin's Creed. I have guides for Killing Floor 2. And um, in case you guys haven't been, didn't watch my last video, I did a little tips and tricks guide on Killing Floor 2. I unfortunately will not be able to post a whole lot these next couple of weeks. And that's because I'm going home for the holidays. And so we'll be coming back at around uh, maybe the 5th. Yeah, around the 5th. Um, yeah, I'm coming back to fifth. So other than that, um, take it easy, guys. Again, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you like my content, subscribe to me. I need all the followers I can get. All 22 of my followers. We're a small group, but we're growing. But they're getting bored of me, so we need more. We need a bigger family. Well, guys, take it easy. Enjoy your holidays and drive safe.